got one for you. Let's make the simplest and easiest birdhouse you can ever imagine. All you need is one board, a one by six by at least four and a half feet, and it doesn't, it could be rough cut, it could be smooth cut, whatever you have, whatever you have laying around, whatever you buy. All you're gonna have to do is make five cuts, simple five cuts, six cuts if you wanna get a little bit more precision. But let me show you how we're gonna turn this into this. Come on, let's go in the shop, let's go make some sawdust. I've got my one by six and I laid it out. And is what I did is I made some marks here showing me that this will be the front, this will be the roof. We're gonna have a slant cut here for the sides and then we're gonna have the back and the bottom. Now, we will need two precision cuts. We'll need a 15 degree angle here and we will need a 15 degree angle here just so we have uh, a precision and, and a better looking uh, birdhouse. Let me show you, let's go cut it. Our first cut, I'm just gonna have a slant here. I'm gonna make this a simple 15 degrees. So I'm just gonna set my saw to uh, uh, 15 degrees so I can just do one cut. I now have my blade at a 15 degree angle and I'm just gonna make one straight cut. Hey, safety first. Yes, I did take the safety off the uh, saw just for the video. Don't do that. Keep it on there. Now we have our 15 degree angle which will, will give us a slant once we get the sides cut. Next cut will be the slanted 15 degrees. This will give us the two sides so we'll have that slant in the birdhouse. So we're going to set the saw for another 15 degree angle. There you go, I got my guide set at 15 degrees. We're going to line that up. This will now give us the two sides, so we'll have a little angle to the roof. You need to make five or six cuts. Don't care how you do it, don't care what level you're at as carpentry, find a way to do it. You want to do it, man? The old-fashioned way. Handsaw. And then the last piece we'll need to cut will be the bottom. The bottom may need some extra trimming, but we're just going to cut it for now. There you have it. We have all our pieces cut. We've got our sides cut. We've got our front and back cut. We've got our roof and our assembly stage. Uh, I'm not sure of your level of carpentry, so I am going to start out the old-fashioned way. Hammer nails. You just want to take some nails on them and get them started. That's great. Remember, keep your angle. We cut that back to the 15 degrees. If you have access, or if you like, What we've done here is kept our 15 degree angle. On the back, we cut that 15 degrees. And then on the front piece, we will also cut the 15 degrees. So we'll have a nice shelf for the roof to sit on. Just a small little trick I like to do when looking at the inside of the board, we're gonna have our hole here. And what I wanna do is I wanna give the birds what I call a, uh, a ladder so they can hold on and get closer to the birds. So what I do is I take a saw and just make some marks. Not very deep. All they did is cut some marks uh, just randomly. This will give them a place to hold on as they're looking out the hole to help them get out. As we stick the bottom in, I have heard people cut the corners off to give the birdhouse air flows. We're just gonna go with what we got here. All right, we're looking good. Our roof will fit right. 
Now, on the roof, on the roof, I want to give you a heads up. I did put a little piece there. I just took a scrap piece, screwed it in there, so it will sit here, and it'll sit on there, and it'll hold. And then at the end of the season, it's easy to take this off and clean it out. So it gives me easy access. Now, if you want it to be really precise, you could have cut this piece at a 15 degree angle so it sat there nice. I didn't. I don't think the birds care. I just left it go as is. We just need to drill our hole. All right, the next step will be to drill the hole. Drilling the hole is probably the most critical thing in the birdhouse. That will determine what type of bird you get in here. Um, if you have a larger hole, chances are you'll get the sparrows and you'll get the starlings and things like that. If you, if you drill a smaller hole, you'll get things like the black cat chickadees, you get the uh, house wrens, as we hear gurbling in the back, it's just trying to find a home, trying to find a mate. So let's go, we're gonna, we're gonna do a, a, a medium sized hole. We're gonna go for the uh, house wren, which is making all the racket in the back, and give them a shot. There you have it, we're done for the day. We've got a great little birdhouse, we're ready to go. The second most important thing uh, will be determine where you hang it, where you place it, how you hang it. Um, if you hang it in the tree, hang it on the post, you can hang it on the post. You can get a piece of uh, electrical pipe screwed on the back. You could take long screws, you go in the back. We made the bottom a little bit long here, so you could put screws here if you had to. All of that determines where you're going to put it, how you're going to put it. A um, couple other things I just want to talk about. We made this really rough and easy, quick. It took us less than an hour. Quick little project. Uh, the birds don't care, but if you want to get a little bit more specific, you can 45 your angles and really make it look nice. Okay. If you want to take your top, you could 45 your top, make it look nice. Now, on this one you'll notice, I also reversed the back and the front. So this one has a different look as compared to this one. So again, choices that you have to make. You can see I stained this one. This one I made out of plywood. So it just has a different outside look. Hey, the birds don't care. In my mind, the rougher the better. This one you can stain them, you can paint them, you can do whatever you want. Hey, you want to get real fancy, we will get fancier. We can make a little bit more design or we can make the old log cabin design. But hey, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something. Thanks for watching. I'm Ken Deininger with another Backyard Project.